At short notice, national leaders from around the world travelled great distances to Australia to attend the memorial service. Among the first to arrive was President Johnson of the United States of America, who had come, he said, to pay tribute to a friend. President Marcos of the Philippines said Harold Holt was the father of the new Society of Asian Nations. He died as he lived adventurously and courageously, he said. We are gathered here today to remember before Almighty God, our late Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Harold Edward Holt. We mourn today for a man who loved Australia, who lived for Australia, who gave his best for Australia. At Harold Holt's memorial service, there was as much talk and lobbying for leadership positions at that as there were tributes being paid, and that was sickening. It was the most, one of the most sickening public services I've ever been to. He was a decent man. That's why I feel angry at the unspeakable bastards who were plotting his defeat at the time of his death. In Holt's last days, political treachery and infighting had undermined his leadership. In the wake of his tragic death, those involved stepped up their war for control of the nation's political destiny. But I have told Mr McMahon that neither I nor my country party colleagues would be prepared to serve under him as Prime Minister. Newton's contract 